What's going on, guys? It's Slider Havoc here, and we all back on some Sky Factory today. Let me show you what I got. I was scrambling up because I have so many freaking uh, uh, dimlets now. <gasps> Whoa! I didn't even know about these two. Oh my god, I had stored one that I had made in the scrambler over here. I didn't even know about these two. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so we're going to put together like the most killer biome ever, right? I don't need liquid molten. I definitely don't need saturation. So I'm going to take that. What was the other one? This one is instant health. Don't really need that one either. But we're going to break this guy down because we are going to... No, no, you're over here. No, that's the scrambler. Where are you? That's a dialing device. This machine? Yes, Dimlet Workbench. There we go. We're going to go ahead and break this bad boy down. And we are going to make ourselves a level 6 controller. But we don't want material type this time. We want mob type. Uh, sky type. I don't have any mob types. I should probably break down a mob. Let's find a mob type real quick. Um, I'm sure I've got one in here. Uh, here we go. Mob default. Here we go. So let's grab this guy right here. Mob default. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. Um, okay. So we put this bad boy in there. Why aren't you breaking that one down? Do I have to... Is that something different? Is a mob... Def, mob dimlet different? I went over here trying to make mobs. Hold on. I know there's a way you can make them, too. Um, like, build them. But I thought that's what I was doing. Um, a shape card. A shape card. Um... Dimlet controller type controller special type controller weather type what does the mob one look like the mob looks like a checkerboard right oh no it's got like a mob face on it yeah this one right here that's why aren't you breaking this dimlet down Are you, you have power What what's going on here why are you not breaking that down? Let's go try a different one. Um, let's let's go for a cool one. Like, um, well, let's just grab a zombie pigment. Zombie pigment, sure. Um, man, I hate when I do that. It like, it just won't take them back. I don't know. Anyways, mob. Why are you? Are you is there too many in here? No. Why won't it break the mob dimlet down? Okay, I know there's a way to manually make one. Like a dimlet template. Here we go. A dimlet template. Okay, we're, we're doing this. We're doing this. We are going to make this happen because I've, I've got something cool. Um, dimlet template. Okay. And then... I mean... What's this used for? Uh, I, I, why do... Okay, I've got a lot of dim dimlet templates. I want to know what this bad boy is used for. Um, a controller single dimlet. Uh, normal sky. Okay, so you can actually manufacture. Oh, oh, there it is. Uh, that's a mob default dimlet. So it takes three of these to make that. So how... How do I make it? How do I get this guy right here? Like you would think, okay, I did my research and I knew everything was going to be great and now it's not, now it's not. It was supposed to be awesome. It was supposed to be so cool. And now, see that's like sky normal, uh, s controller single dimlet. I don't get it. Normal sky. Sky, normal day dimlet. Okay, so this is just to make a, like a totally default world. It looks like time, normal dimlet. Yeah, like you can just make a completely another world uh, using dimlets. But we're in a void, so that doesn't really help. I just have a second void world, and that would not be useful. Um, why? Okay, hold on. Let's see if it'll break down another dimlet that's not a mob. Uh, like this one. Let's Let's try to break this guy down here. 
Will you break this guy down? First of all, let's put you back in here. Will you still break this guy down? Yeah, it says extract. So why can't I extract the mob dimlet? Do I... Okay, I'm going to go do some research because this is going to really upset me. I, I could have sworn I was ready to go. So I'm going to do some research. I'm going to find out what's going on and we'll be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> interesting enough. I don't know what the deal is, but this one that I was trying to do... Um, oh, because it's craftable. Maybe that's the reason it wasn't working. I didn't even notice, but I just grabbed some more and all of a sudden I could extract it. So cool. We've got the mob type. We should be, yep, there it is. And then lastly, I need my syringe. Um, I think I showed it to you before. I went in when I was fighting one of the ender dragons. I stabbed him a whole bunch of times with this and got the essence for it. And hopefully, 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 there it is, Dragon Dimlet. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Okay, so first thing, Dragon Dimlet in there. Good. Now, we're actually going to try to make this world a cool little world, right? I don't want huge orbs everywhere. So I think um, it's not materials. It's what's it called? Uh, feature. So what do we want? Um, I want something kind of fun. Just, you know, so we can kind of fly around and, you know, do different things. Um, okay, so we're going to have Features Ravines. And also, I want I want Features Lakes. I wonder what that'll do. I want a pretty area um, to kind of work with. Um, I would like some tendrils because we might do at least one material. You're, you're annoying. Where did you come from? I swear. Oh, oh you little punk. He turned all my villagers into zombie villagers and killed some of them. The <laughs> my last villager. <laughs> He's a zombie now. <laughs> that poor guy. We'll get you back, man. We'll get you back. I, I, I think it's a potion of weakness and a golden apple, so <laughs> we'll get you back. You little bastard. Where in the world did you spawn from? Um, I, this is so sidetracking, but... It's really annoying because I have freaking constantly putting down torches. I've got, you know, my F7 mode like crazy. Every time I build something, I always make sure there's no X's. Where did you come from? <gasps> you know what? I bet you there's X's in here. I bet you that there's X's like down where I can't see them in there. Let me see. Hold on. Am I in F7? Now I am. I bet you he spawned in one of these. That's probably where he came from. All my poor villagers have been converted and killed. Oh, those poor guys. Anyways, um, let's see. So we've got features, uh, tendrils. I like the tendrils. We'll make them out of something cool. Like I might actually just do them out of dirt. So, you know, it kind of creates a landscape. That'd be kind of cool. Um, ravines. Well, which one did I grab? I grabbed, all right, I don't need the stacks. I have tendrils. I have lakes and I have ravines. Okay. And um, material. Because we're going to want to make these each out of a material. This world, I'm actually going to make pretty normal. That's kind of what I'm going for. So, you know what? I think having the tendrils be made out of ice would look really cool. Like ice bridges everywhere. And then uh, material default for like the ravines. And maybe charge surge quartz ore that'd be kind of fun um what else we could make like an ice age that'd be kind of cool right with uh packed ice for one of them that'd be kind of cool i don't know i'm, I'm literally just kind of thinking about this as i go uh features no not features materials i've got so many of these that uh i just kind of want to play with them um cobblestone would be kind of interesting to have all over the place too uh charge source court or huh what's what's some more of the rarity um okay these are all the ores i don't necessarily want ores uh glass would be kind of cool because i could just you know go farm glass whenever i needed it with my silk touch um soul sand could be interesting you know ender would be kind of fitting since it's going to be a dragon area um, I don't know what hardened clay. No, let's let's do some dirt. Just 
I think that'll be unique. Like, I mean, ah, that's so annoying when it does that. It won't let me put back in some of these. Yeah, you either. Let me guess, you either. Oh no, you take them. Okay. So we've got packed ice, ice, uh, material default. Okay, yeah, so I don't need the dirt, actually. I've got the material default. So uh, the tendrils will be packed ice. The lakes will be default. And then the ravines will be um, ice. That'll be interesting. And I actually don't need you. But I've got... Oh, where's my dragon? Oh, is it still in here? Did I leave it in the machine? No, where is it? Where's my... Where's my dragon at? Hold on, did I did I accidentally put it away? Don't need you. Um, let me just put you away. Dragon, where did you? Where did you go, dragon? I worked very hard to get you. Where did my dragon go? Where did it go? I checked everyone, right? Dragon, dragon, where did it go? Oh, uh -huh. it's already in the builder. Okay, 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 okay. So feature tendrils. Okay, I gotta do them vice versa. So packed ice tendrils, um, default lakes, and ice ravines. I think that'll be kind of cool. Um, we always want it to be always day. So. Um, I'm sure I have tons of those noon ones. Yeah. Well, one left here, but time is going to be noon. What's the warning? Uh, lakes does not use material modifiers. Uh, okay. Not a problem. So I can't you make ice lakes. Now what? Um, oh, wait, hold on. It was you that doesn't need one. Hold on. Is this backwards? Like why? Why is the warning still there? Can I only do one? Can I only do like the 10? I can't do another like feature? That would kind of stink. I'm pretty sure I did this before. Right? Now you're, you're in a warning because you need uh, ravines is possibly useless as it does not work on all terrains. Okay. I, I did one though. We're going to features. Um, what was it? Was it Oregon? Was that the one I did? Uh, caves. Canyons. Let's do a canyon. And let's grab a cave too just to see if that's part of the problem. All right. Caves might have been the one. Or canyons actually I think is the one that I actually did do. Um, okay. So we've got packed ice tendrils. We're going to have ice, uh, caves, canyons, ice canyons. There we go. And then we'll have some default caves. Uh, caves does not use a material modifier. Caves is possibly useless on uh, all trains. Okay. So we won't do that then. Time noon. Um, I know there's a weather, there's a weather one. Uh, weather, hard thunder, and rain. Uh, weather, no rain. Yes, I want that one. I'm making a rainless world because why would I make a world that rains? That would just be crazy. Okay. Um, and then mob type is dragon. We've already got that. That's only 10,000 hours per take. That's not too bad. I'm trying to think if there's anything else really useful. I might do some orbs. Some small orbs. Um, feature orbs. Yeah. And we'll do those out of something cool, like Endstone. I think Endstone would be a cool orb to have around, since it is the the Ender Dragon. And it would almost be fitting to put uh, Enderman in here, too. Okay, so I don't need the caves or the default demo anymore, or the ravines, or the lakes. Okay, so Endstone for the orbs. That would be kind of cool. Um... I don't know what else to do. Like, there's so much I want to do. I want to make this a really cool world because it's going to be where we go kill dragons. Let's put a cool sky. Um, sky. What color sky? Let's do a purple sky with, okay, sky planets 
and then I mean that just looks cool and then what else uh, these are sky body sky bright day sure and sky dark blue color okay the color is the one I want I want dark purple okay so this is a pretty pretty advanced uh, world for me compared to what I've done in the past I need to get this blank one out of my inventory it's just gonna kind of bother me all right so we have the dragon with packed ice tendrils ice canyons noontime no rain endstone orbs uh, planet body and bright day and dark color purple I know I need to make an empty pattern I'm all excited because well first of all uh, no it's um, yeah it's empty right empty pattern yeah I just don't have one all right I don't know how expensive I don't think this one's actually gonna be too pricey to be honest compared to some of the other ones I've made okay dragon world and store and this one a maintain cost of 10,000 that's it creation cost is uh, only 13,000 R per day dragons apparently are very cheap to make <laughs> interesting this is gonna be made so quickly like so fast because you're not even even like remotely dip into my power my power is off the hook right now um, I afraid if you're going in and out right now are you set to send and receive yeah, you are send and receive, so you should be fluctuating, but apparently you're not. While this being made, I just want to take a look. It's not even like remotely affecting me. During the making process, I'm still generating more energy. That seems really cheap for a world full of dragons, but that seems awesome for a person who is looking for a ton of those hearts. And we are going to rock it. All right. Pretty close, 50%. I was going to break, but then, you know what? It's only going to be like another minute or so. And we are going to go slay ourselves some dragons. I will, however, just on the off chance that something funny happens. Because you never know. I am going to take my dimension monitor as well as my phase field generator. Just because, you know, play it safe. That's 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 kind of the philosophy I'm going with. Play it safe. So this will tell me that the dimension is totally cool. That will protect me just in case. I don't think we're even going to become close to having it be a concern because I think I can actually control this one. I have solar panels. I made some solar panels uh, trying to get to these high level ones uh, right here. And so you see, I've got four of these. They can hold up to 4 million each and I've got four, which would be a total of 16 million and they generate some power, but I don't know if they're going to be enough to generate the, or to be self generating. Not quite yet, at least. So, I could check out some of the other solar power generators like these guys because those are pretty cheap to make and uh, power multiplier times one and then think to make this guy yeah it's actually pretty cheap to make that guy and that's a power multiplier times eight and then inevitably this guy is times 64 so one of these will probably do a good job of uh, protecting my my world and I can have it uh, be self-sustaining that way I can just leave it open at all times and I don't have to have it in a uh, uh, dimension builder I can just store it over here with the rest of my dimensions so that way I can go in and out whenever I want so you're in there you're getting power let's dial you up and let's go kill ourselves some dragons oh dragon hearts for days I wonder if I'm gonna get a lot of hearts too I didn't even think or not hearts but eggs I could actually start a dragon farm like a zoo of dragons that would be so sick. Oh, I should probably bring, um, well, it's not going to drain much energy, but I should probably bring the, uh, the activity thing. Okay. So, as, oh my God, dragons everywhere. Oh, that's so sick. Okay. Let's head back. I am definitely, and look at the ice tendrils and stuff like that. Oh, that's so cool looking. Dragons everywhere. <laughs> This is freaking epic. Oh, um, activity. I just want to grab that guy real quick. There you are. Because we're going to put him down. And do I have any more cookies? I just don't want to. Like, I need a food item. Um, you know what? No, my health looks pretty high. 
Oh, I do want to put this guy down here, though. Charge up everything. I'm not going to be mining. All we're doing is hunting dragons. So, all right. I got the activity general. Hey, 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 I hate the whole step up. I constantly run over this thing. All right. So, we're going to put you down. And we're going to go hunt dragons. The only problem is there's going to be so many dragons. Oh, that looks so cool. Like the ice freaking ravines and stuff. And then it's got these packed ice tendrils. Like it's useless. 100% useless when it comes to getting materials. But it's just freaking pretty cool. I don't know about you guys. I like it. He doesn't seem to be very hostile. And it's funny because I can't see his health because there's so many. No, oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh, dragon hearts for days. Oh, this is so epic. Oh my goodness, this is so cheaty. Come on. I, I almost feel like I'm cheating here. But I mean, I'm using the mechanics of the game and I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever done this. We are going to be so loaded up on uh, Draconic stuff. My curiosity is, because it's not leaving... Um, hey. I got to figure you've got to be a pretty strong sword. Aha. Yeah, it doesn't take that many hits with the sword either. Um, yeah, we might do this. Oh my god, there's just dragons everywhere. Oh, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, oh. Up. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the control up and control down. Why are you falling? Man, just freaking, I am all over the place. Come on. There you go. How many hearts have I gotten so far? Like three or four? I don't even, why am I swinging my sword when all I gotta do is just hit him with this guy? My arrow hits pretty freaking hard. Just kind of aiming is a little more difficult. Oh my gosh, how many hearts is that? That is one, two, three, four, five hearts. And you guys don't like don't even do like even a little bit of damage. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, that was the same one. Oh, this is so epic. This is so epic. Hearts for days. No, you shoot him. So many hearts. I'm never gonna. Oh, this is so sick. I am so in love with the setup right now. It's just awesome. And I just come back here. I don't ever have to go back to the end and do the resurrection thing anymore. All I gotta do is charge up some freaking uh, draconic blocks. And. Oh, wow! They are dropping nether portals all over the place. Eggs all over the place. Oh, we're gonna have an awesome dragon farm. We're going to have an awesome dragon farm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to head back. This is, this is so epic. This is like, we're not even like remotely touching the power of this thing. This is so awesome. Oh, I'm so pumped right now. Now I've got as many dragon hearts as I could ever want. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hearts. We just got in a matter of what, five minutes or so. And eight hearts can give me four blocks each. That's 32 blocks of um, awakened draconic ingots. That's epic. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get everything I need together to make a whole bunch of awakened stuff. And we're gonna finish getting all of our cool draconic stuff. Um, Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't have yet. Eventually, 
draconic reactor core. I do want to generate power with this mod, but I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, but like this flux capacitor, I do want to make the flux capacitor because that's going to be something we need for the chaos dragon. And I don't know what exactly these shards are used for. I'm kind of curious. They give you the chaotic core, which is used for the reactor. Okay, so that's how we get power. That's how we get our insane power. Okay. Okay, so that's what that's why we kill the the dragon. And uh, crystal binder. Uh, I don't know what the keys are good for. I don't know what they work on. Spawn. I don't know. There's, there's certain weird things, but I want to get this guy. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? This guy. I want to get the Draconic Staff of Power, which means I need to make myself, because I think it's like all of them. It's a sword, a pick, and a shovel, and so it serves the purposes of all of them. And Is that a hoe? <laughs> a Draconic hoe. <coughs> so I want to get that guy, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely want that in the fight. I believe it uh, does shooting damage, and then I can level that thing way up. And I do want to make the bow. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get all that put together right now because there's no need to spend time on camera doing that. And then we might just go, we might go and take on the Chaos Dragon. I'm going to check time and then we'll be right back. Scratch that. <laughs> I just checked the time. We're already at 37 minutes. So I think that's actually going to be a good place to stop, actually. I think that was pretty epic and I always want to do so much. But I gotta save other stuff for other episodes. So, until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.